Bam! Welcome. <laughs> Forgot my microphone. Welcome back, Commanders. To the Not XCOM Project. <laughs> How you doing? Oh. Good to see you. It's good to be back. I've had a whole bunch of weeks where I just didn't have time to stream. But that ends now. Because it's stream o'clock, baby. Yeah, it is. Can you hear me? Is it this thing on? Yeah, it is. It's been a million years. You're right. Exactly, Kurashishi. At least 84,000 years. Hopefully it's worth the wait. Whew. Oh, thank you, Fipsy. Thank you, Fipsy, for the sub. I thought, man, thank you everyone who has stayed subbed in this downtime. I very much appreciate that. That is dedication, and I don't deserve it. But thank you anyway. Thank you also, Ornamental Lizard. Uh, thank you, Act to Us. Um, who else were you subbed while we were loading up? Jake. Thank you, Jake. Thank you, Vaxor. Vaxor says, remember not to shoot rockets while everyone's still inside the plane. Thumbs up. Thank you, Vaxor. It's not a passive-aggressive thumbs up. It's important to clarify that. Are we losing the stream? Is the stream dying? Oh god, is my internet shit again? God damn it. I am sorry. I'm gonna have to ring Virgin Media after this. I'm still here. Okay, good. Um, thank you, Blue Cube Head. He says, no time to chat. There are Xenos scums in the wild. <gasps> there are Xenos scum. So for anyone who doesn't know, Xenonauts is basically XCOM. Classic XCOM. Um, but by another company. I'm very excited to play it. I played Xenonauts 1, but I didn't stream it. Everyone kept saying, why are you not streaming Xenonauts? Because I, I already, I've already completed it. Um, but Xenonauts 2, that's the one. Um... Thank you. Thank you, Asha Pup. Thank you, Swashbuckling Snake. Thank you, Not Angus Mook 6. He says, Hail Bemperor. Broke my streak due to a financial crisis last month. <gasps> but I'm recently promoted and ready to begin again. Oh my goodness. I'll remember. I'll always continue. It says you've got a streak. Yeah, it says 29 months. I think you kept it, Angus. And I'll always know. Congratulations. That's very cool. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ipodax. Thank you, Dragon Zord. It's nearly 2 a.m., but I don't want to be square. Can I go to bed yet? <gasps> no, never go to bed, Dragon Sword. Never, 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 never. Marcus Gus, thank you. Lund, thank you. Is that everyone? Thank you, Gustavus. I'm ready to serve my bumperer by dying horrifically to Xenos scum. Chump me up. You got it, buddy. And Mad Larkin says it's happening. All the best Bumper subjects are ready to die for his glory. Praise be and chop me up. Welcome back, Ben. Thank you so much. Welcome back to all the commanders. <sighs> Ornamental Lizard asks, somehow the Bumper has returned. I'm curious, how is your hunt for the perfect war game going? It still continues. I imagine it will always continue. I can't I can't imagine ever finding that elusive perfect war game. But I continue. I continue my search relentlessly. I have many books, many rule sets. They all have their charms and they're all secret secret hidden glory. None of them none of them are perfect yet. We'll keep going. Um right. Xenonauts one lost you with too much plane action. I agree. One of the features of Xenonauts two is auto resolve plane action. So awesome. Awesome start. Thank you, Aleth K, preemptive Fs. There can be no Fs today. Because we're gonna gonna win. I've never I literally haven't played this yet. We are going to Iron Man mode and no tutorial. Um because I've played games before, you know? I've played a game. You guys have played games, right? We've all played games. Um Commander Bedger. Begin campaign. Oh. Oh, hang on. Can I? The introduction and the tutorial are maybe different things. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what I've done now, but it's fine. We'll be fine. I mean, I've comp literally completed Xenonauts 1. I've completed every XCOM game. We'll figure it out. How hard can it be?
So for anyone who doesn't know, the setting here is it's I think it's the uh, it's the distant future of two thousand nine, um, but this is an alternate history Earth where the Cold War still runs hot. No, it's just still Cold War. The Berlin Wall hasn't come down. The USSR is still alive and kicking. It's truly a dark age for mankind. And now aliens too. Ah, Commander. Good of you to finally make an appearance. Apologies for the delay. This place isn't exactly easy to find. Yes, I believe that's rather the point. Commander, glad to have you making it. Welcome to our backup facility. We have a command room and a cache of emergency supplies installed a while back. No getting around the fact that our new home is a derelict nuclear bunker of 60s junk. Hope you're fine with cold showers, cold food, and cold everything. You wouldn't last long in the military if you're not. He does look like he's from Stargate. You're right. What's the status of the cleaners? Relocating has bought us some time, but they're still after us. If we don't find a way to eliminate them soon, they'll find us and start attacking here too. But they're not our biggest problem. Indeed! My recent studies suggest, once estimated mass is factored in, extraterrestrial activity appears to follow a mathematically predictable pattern. In English, Poindexter! More precisely, exponential growth! And we're nearing the end of the curve! <laughs> in plain English? Fuck me. Okay. What a trope. What a fucking trope. <laughs> oh. The UFOs arriving in our skies will begin to increase rapidly in size and or quantity. I doubt it will be long until the aliens launch a full-blown invasion. I don't like the sound of that. How long do we have? Weeks! God help us all. A couple of months at most. He does look like Gaius Baltar, you're right. I'm not going to trust him. Good call, Scrooge. I suggest you make the most of it. Right. It's base o'clock. I always like going like round here somewhere, because then you're covering Europe and the best bit of Russia and all of Africa. Um but we could we could be like USA. It's just only, like, two, three countries you're protecting, though, right? Is there game sound? Are you not hearing game sound? Oh, no. Let me fix that. Uh... Did that work? Nope. How about that? How about that? Can you hear the music now? America has enough guns. True. They have mini guns. Should we get be like on a lovely Greek island? Should we be Rhodians? Utago to solo. Um Rhodes. Do it. That's Crete. Oh you're right, that is Crete. I'm a fucking idiot. Crete! It's called Rhodes. It's to, it's to confuse the aliens. They'll never be able to find the base if it's called something that's not where it is. Uh, quick primer of things you need to know. We're in surprisingly good shape. Uh, we've got a helicopter. We've got the helicopter away with all the civilian staff, our chief scientist included. Although naturally he spent the entire flight complaining that we'd secured his lab assistance instead of his research notes. Um, please resist the temptation to cause him bodily harm. Oh no! The only thing worse than having him in charge of research would be not having him in charge of research. The man is quite literally a genius and an essential to the war effort. Your best chance of getting him to shut up would be to start recovering research samples. <laughs> the eventual goal is to learn enough about the extraterrestrials to work out how to defeat them. Reverse engineer their technology might help even the odds. It'd be poetic justice of using their own weapons against them. 
I'll take care of the political situation, provided you keep global panic to a re reasonable level. My agents can't operate in a region that gets too paranoid, which means no funding and alien influence goes unopposed. Right, so, you know, it's XCOM. You've done an XCOM before, right? We're all familiar. Um, new research project. Hey, Balta. The door was closed for a reason, Commander. Well, I guess we're doing combat vehicles. Cool. Um, what else have we got? So we've got the Geoscape. Classic. We've got main base. Uh, got two jets, a helicopter, a radar dish, generator, a lift. What's this one? Storeroom. Living quarters. Workshop. And lab. Okay, yeah, perfect. It's just, you know, it's like an XCOM. Um, is there anything we can build that we don't currently have? Training center, medical facility, missile battery. Uh, okay. Um, well, we've got plenty of power. We're almost out of living space. We can only hire two more people. Right, I think... In a perfect world, I'd like another research lab. I'd like some more scientists. I'd like another living quarters, I'd like a training facility. We probably can't afford all of that. We've got two million. Let's definitely get a training center up and running. Um, how's the st storage? Is doing fine. Okay, we're going to need another living quarters. Um, that's literally half a million gone already. That probably do for now. It does have base defense missions, yeah. Maybe we go straight in for another lab? Because they take 20 days to build, right? Um, power used, 15. Yeah, I just, I'm just going to slap another lab down immediately. Placement of buildings does kind of matter, and I'm not really paying attention to it. What's that plus? What? Is there like an adjacency bonus that I'm completely ignored. Shit. Oh well. Um, game's a bit loud. Okay, turn it down. Thank you. You've got to let me know about the sound because I can't hear what you hear. What I hear is different. Um, oh, Commander, please tell me how to do my job. You got it, Poindexter. Think harder. Um, oh wow, look at this guy. He's a man of few words. A man of what I imagine is many abs. Uh, he can make us armor. Angel interceptors. Oh, we build our own craft. Okay. Um, okay, soldiers. Here they all are. We've got quite a few, actually. Got three spearmans. Four suits of armor. Is that the armor everyone's got? Or are only some people wearing that? How do I... Oh yeah, no, they don't all get it. Must be heavy, I guess. Uh, so defender armor gives them armor 12, compared to armor 0. Yikes. Okay, so this guy, if I put defender armor on... Yeah, okay, it's heavy. Um... Oh, holy moly. So they've got... What? Five... They've got 15 space left. And that puts them five. So it's 20. It's 20 weight to put the armor on. I feel like armor's going to be important. To keep our boys alive. So I'm going to build another couple of suits. How much? They only cost 10 grand each. Okay. Let's get some more suits going. Um... Should we just run them as is, see how they do, and then adjust accordingly? Ooh, grenade launchers. Nice. Okay, so we've got pistols, shotguns, rifles, sniper rifles, LMGs, and grenade launchers. We've got frag, smoke, flashbang, demo charges, 
medikit, C4, amazing, knife, shield, um, and grenades for the grenade launcher. And then lastly, we got tactical module. Oh, they wear it on their vest and gives them a small boost to accuracy. Interesting. And steel plates. Just makes them a bit tougher. Okay. Well, here's the great thing that I love. It's all basic tier equipment is infinite. We're, you know, we've got millions of dollars of funding. We don't have to worry about buying pistol clips. You know? We can just have as much of that crap as we like. Because mm. it's shit. Um... And then lastly, we've got Angel 1 and Angel 2. They both got Sidewinder missiles and miniguns. And there's a helicopter. Okay. Do we definitely want to use Sidewinders? Or we'll Avalar? Uh, Skylarns? Why are we on ammo zero? Hmm. Okay. Well. I think we'll just take the default squad and then we'll adjust how, depending on how the mission goes. Hmm. Oh, we've got to name everyone, right? I totally forgot. We'll wait till the first mission starts. Um, thank you to a DM called Dethan, who gave out a gift sub. Thank you to Hegbert, who's used their Twitch... Excuse me. Who's had their Twitch Prime. If there's any other primers in the chat, I always appreciate it. Um, interrogating the cats also used their prime and said prime is a thing. I need to remember to use it more often. Thank you so much. I very much appreciate your free money. I will always accept that. Fipsy has donated some five bucks. Thank you so much, Fipsy. And they say, greetings, Commander. Give me a stick and chump me up. Okay. Um, let's make sure your guy was stick, since you did specifically ask. Um, how do I... Gun, gun page. Has anyone already got a stick? Or are they all being very sensible? Uh, oh, these guys have actually got proper equipment loadouts. This is a bit spooky. We have no stick boys. We have a shield guy, which I guess is the closest we've got to a guy with a stick. Um, so that can be you, Fipsy. Welcome aboard. See, you've got a little bit of room. I feel like grenade, All right? Can I give them? Not quite. I kind of want to make them super tanky. If I drop the demo charge, put in the extra armor plating, to make them all tank. Shotguns are very tanky builds too. They've got grenades and flashbangs. That makes sense. Who are these guys going to be? Um, let's go back to the start of the stream. Make sure I don't miss anyone who donated before I was live. Um, just loading up the list. Chad Smith. Not today. This is WPB Lund. Welcome aboard, Lund. You've got a shotgun. You're one of our breaches. Good luck. We've also got um, Mark Goose. Welcome aboard. Dragonzord! Welcome aboard. You're a rifleman's. You've actually got quite a lot of spare carry weight. We can put you in armor as well, I think. And, probably... You're really strong, actually. Give me some more grenades. And a knife. No. Oh, come on, you mean you're, you're Dragon's Order AU, you've got to be, you've got to have a knife. How could you not? 
the most Australian thing in the world. And we've got Epodax. Come aboard. We've got a little bit of space. Can we squeeze on another grenade? Nope. God, they're heavier than you think. Okay. Um... Got a uh, DM called Deethan. No, it's Deethan. Deethan, welcome aboard. Thank you for donating. Say, chop me up. You got it, sir. Uh, another rifle. Get you in a suit. Can if we ditch. I don't think everyone literally needs a demo charge. That feels excessive. Uh, I've lost count of where I was. Hang on, give me a sec. Um, this one's Asher Pup. Thank you for giving out the gifts up. Welcome aboard. Right, our heavy machine gunner. Blue cube head. Kind of tempted to swap them out for a, um, a grenade launcher. And a sniper. Who's going to be the sniper? Ex Libris. Welcome aboard. Alright, we've got some jets to name too. We can squeeze these in. Your one shall be. Um, extra canny. And Angel two shall be. Uh, Yarl Lewis. Welcome aboard. And then the, the helicopter. Helicopter pilot is one X James. Thank you, everyone. I'm sure there'll be many more things to squeeze in. Um, thank you, Milanosevic. Thank you, X Libris, who says, "Oh yeah, chump me up, make me suffer for my indignities." You got it. Extra Kenny, Al Lewis, James. Thank you all. Hegbert, thank you for the prime. Aleph K. Good stuff, X. Amazing. You're all wonderful. Let's do a mission. So what have we got here? An alien research team has been sighted gathering data in the local region. This presents our organization with an opportunity to eliminate them and recover their equipment for study. Amazing. Okay. Um, they're going to be down there for three days. We can just send the helicopter. I don't think it even needs an escort. Launch! Um, give my plane to someone else. I would rather have a chomp with a shield, says Yarl Lewis. Okie dokie. Um, in that case, this plane can go out to Merlin Osovich. Merlin Osovich. Come on board. Uh, one of my favorite features about Xenonauts is the ability to save a loadout. Yes, that is amazing. You can just give a guy a loadout, save it as a template, and then just copy-paste it. A huge quality of life change. Uh, defender armor's done. Should we just make, like, a few more? God, that was so quick. Tactical battle. Too late for being chumped, secret squirrel. Don't worry, there's plenty more chumps to come. I'm sure we're going to get through quite a lot of people. Uh, 
Lewis says, Ben, throw me on the wheel, if that's an option, or give me a guy with a shield and a bonker. Oh, and thanks for getting me into Star Wars Legion. It's honestly super fun to paint. Nice, glad you're enjoying it. That's very cool. Who's going to die? I don't know. How many deaths do you think we're going to have on our first mission? Can't be that bad, right? Let's go. We're almost on top of the energy signals, Commander. It's highly likely there's extra extraterrestrial life forms nearby. Let's hope they weren't expecting a fight. Eliminate all resistance. Boom! We're in. Here's a helicopter. Ready to rock. Um... I guess shotgun guy's out first. Let's have a look. Oh god, it's weird not knowing the map layouts already. Like in XCOM, I already know, like usually know where some stuff is. Okay. What have we got? We've got nine guys. Do we split into three squads of three? That feels sensible. Get the layout of this place. Okay. Well, we're literally in the corner, so that makes life a lot easier. Okay, we're going to send one team through here. This looks like it's going to be fairly close, close quarters. Um, so let's send the shield. Send a shotgun up that way. Is there a time limit? I don't think so. Uh, send a rifleman to go join the shield. Uh, so we got another rifleman who can go this way. Oh! Whoop, whoop, whoop! What even is that? I can't really see him properly. Let's get behind the car. Um, we don't have enough time units to shoot, so we'll just get down. Get down and boogie. Let's get this guy up here. Oh, we can see over that wall, actually. That's pretty cool. Sniper rifle. Right, what does this even need to shoot? Can we... Oh, that's... That's just delightful, isn't it? Let's take the long-range shot. Hey! Ex Libris! Good snipe! Very cool. Okay. I think we send up another rifle. Uh, how do I... <laughs> how do I maintain such luscious dad hair? Um, through through complete lack of care and, and, and utter indifference. I'm constantly thinking about how much I should be um, like getting a haircut. And I just never get around to it. Because I've got so many dad things to do. That getting my hair cut is like the bottom of the list. And that's my secret. Uh, right. Everyone's in cover. We've wounded that hideous creature. If he comes out of the cover, I want to get a good look at him. We've got no one on Overwatch, really. Except this guy. I suppose this guy's on Overwatch, actually. If someone comes out of here, we're going we're gonna to get him with Asha Pup. I need to get a proper cut. I don't actually like how this looks. It's just the way my head goes. Oh. Am I excited for Epic? I'm very excited for Epic. Hey, Ashapup, good shooting. Oh my god, you just killed the dude. <gasps> is there civilians? Or is he panicking? Um, but yeah, Epic Armageddon, one of my favourite Games Workshop games. Epic is the scale that like Horus Heresy should be fought at, in my opinion. I've already got an army. So yeah, if this gets more people playing, very cool. I'm I'm expecting the rules to not be as good because it's been a long time since I've been impressed by GW rules. But I'm gonna remain cautiously optimistic. Fingers crossed. Right, finish the job, Ex Libris. Snipe that boy. Amazing. <laughs> the aliens have disguised themselves as humans, have they? Oh, Red Winter, I'm, I'm glad you're not on the squad. Whoop. And you. Freeze! Xenos. Shotgun. Blammo. 
Oh, these guys are chumps. Didn't realize the aliens had sent out the fucking loser squad. Hey, oh. Do this by the numbers. A little bit of leapfrogging, step by step. No rush. Uh. Oh no, the aliens were trying to make contact. <gasps> what have I done? Okay, then, um, Alpha Squad with shield. Let's have a little look. Well, none of these guys got shot at, so I'm thinking there can't be that many aliens around here. They would have shot at the, um, these civilians. So I'm feeling okay about this. Slow is smooth, and smooth is fast. That's like a actual, like, military thing, isn't it, they say these days. <laughs> it's like first contact from Mars Attacks. <laughs> Ooh! Not my box! Wow. This doesn't... This is nowhere near as punishing as classic XCOM. I think it's going a little easy on me for the first mission. Which I kind of don't appreciate. Blue Head Cube does not like having no armor on. Well, you can't have a heavy machine gun and an armored bodysuit. You're not strong enough yet. Um, but you can just let him have it. What do we want to do? Do we want to do a... We can do a three-shot burst. We can do a ten-shot burst. We'll give him the ten shots, right? Let him have it! We didn't kill him, but we did knock down two walls and suppress him. It was pretty good. Pretty good. Um, do they get reaction fire? They can. Everything can reaction fire. Us and them. I do like right-clicking to select fire modes. You know, you can get the burst fire, the snapshot, the aim shot. Take a, take a long range shot. Boom! Dethan! Nice, and that's enough for another um, normal shot as well, if something else pops around the corner. Should we let Fipsy finish that poor little suppressed boy off? Get in there for a lethal injection, Fipsy. No one else is here? Good. Execute. Oh! How did you miss that? Oh my god, Fipsy, please! Fipsy. Come on. What are you trying to do here? What are you doing? Blue head cube, like, lined that up perfectly for you. They have anti-lethal injection in Xenonauts. Do they? Oh, is that like a mechanic where if you're in base-to-base -base contact, you, you get less accuracy? Oh, no. Is that true, or did you make that up? I've still got two aliens out there, right? We've got that guy. Oh, there's a guy lurking out there. Well, we've got two guys with rifles. We can take some... Oh, that fence is going to block a lot of our fire. Well, we'll just brute force our way through it, I reckon. Come on, Epodax. Take him down. Okay, well, you got started with that, Epodax. I... Oh, now that he's suppressed, it's actually even harder to hit. Plus, we've got that wall in the way. Here's a fun feature, right? You can say, go here, and then you hold down Shift... And it gives you the, this is what you can see from that location. Which is a pretty cool feature, I think. Let's... Let's take him up here. Yeah, I mean, most of this stuff is in modded XCOM too. But it's nice to have it without a mod. Oh, good work, Dragonzord. Very good. 
grenades. Oh yeah. Yeah, we have got grenades. Didn't really think about it. You wanted to use your knife. We'll, okay, if we find one more alien, we will we'll knife him up. You got it. I, I think that that last guy up there might be the last guy at this rate. Okay, squad done. Alright, eat shield, nerd. So when you suppress them, which we've been doing quite a lot of, they lose all their current time units, and they only get half their time units next turn. So suppression is, is massive. Hopefully we can find one last... Alright, let's try backing it up. And then pistoling. Oh my god. Fipsy, please! Okay, you got it. <laughs> we did it! Thank you, Slayerhead, for subscribing. Ah, Bemperer, I offer myself to Chump Squad. Send me into the meat grinder. You're on the list. Thank you. Our minibus, thank you. Good evening, hope you're well. I hope you are well too, our minibus. Thank you for the support. Low fat salt, thank you. You say, uh, first time catching you play this game. Are we chumping? We are chumping. It's because this is the first time I've played it. Literally, that's my first ever mission for Xenonauts 2. You got in right at the, on the ground floor. Good job. Uh, yeah, it is looking a bit easy. I'm really hoping, because I've put it on quite high difficulty. I'm hoping... Um, first couple of missions are just like easing us in and it's going to get real hard later I love I like my XCOM real hard uh, what do we get seven sectons alien scanners magnetic weapons and alloys do you think got a couple of accuracy blue head cube a couple of accuracy very good three of the locals even survived great success just turn off the steam. Why are you... Steam, please. Uh, wow. We literally won't let me go offline. Fine. Um, right, now we're going to have something to research. Alien alloys... Uh, in English, Poindexter. Oh, I just get autopsies immediately. They got 45 health. So, yeah, that's so when we roll high on damage, we do one shot them. I'm guessing we won't be seeing these guys for very long. They have psychics. They're basically sectoids. Their brain is large. They have excellent vision. Uh, they. Get fed intravenously. Yeah, they, they literally are secto sectoids. Okay. How big is their peens? <laughs> I don't think they have a peen. I think they're clone boys. Mm. Right, research. Well, we may as well finish vehicles since we've already started. Only two days left. We can research guns, better armor, and... Uh, oh. God, that gives us an extra quarter of a million bucks in funding. To find... Okay. We'll probably do that one next, then. Great. Uh, we've built more armor. Okay, I think we're probably, that's probably enough building for now. God, fucking Giga Chad here. What a boy. Uh, the Mars Combat Platform. It's a remote-controlled little missile robot. Uh, carries six rockets. Doesn't do a lot of damage, but does break their armor. Ah. Okay. Um, Mars is heavy enough to be able to smash through most walls and cover objects. Okay, it just smashes through stuff. Great. Let's build two. <laughs> Gunbot! Gunbot falls over easily. If Gunbot shoots for too long, it falls over. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, okay, it's for, for protecting bases. Um, great. I love him. What a beautiful boy. Uh... Alright, how many... What, where are you on day six? Let's get the biology out of the way, because I des I don't want to miss out that funding. That is huge. Um, come on then, Chad. you got to get to work. Chad, welds good. Dark Gomrit? Oh, what a boy. Um... Let's, let's get a couple of wheelie boys done straight away. Uh, and one missile bot. Okay, perfect. Why is bravery relevant on bots? Hmm. If I die, can I reincarnate as a gun bot? <laughs> I don't know if we're allowed to name the gun bots. You're probably not supposed to get too attached to them. Um, gun bot complete. Can we see them? No, we can't. Boo. Oh, we can look at all the stats there. Look at that. Like, Epodax has got low health. Dragonzord, low accuracy. Uh, Deethan and Blue Cuphead are cowards. Good to know. Reflexes. I think our assault guys want to be high reflexes, don't they? They want to, like, shoot someone as they walk around the corner. I think maybe Mark Gus should not be an assault boy. An ex Libris maybe should. You reckon Dragonzord should be a shield boy? He's got the most health and the worst accuracy. Uh, and the highest strength. Hmm. Uh, God, we could rejig everyone, can we? Maybe we should. Uh, who's the most accurate here? Oh, okay, the sniper is the most accurate. Oh, that makes sense. Heavy's not super accurate, but I guess they don't really need to be. Okay, yeah, Dragonzord, you're going to be a shield. Since you've got the strength and the HPs. Um, Gus, you're going to be a rifleman. And who's got high reflexes? You're going to be an assault. Asher pup. Because you need the high reflexes. When someone walks around that corner, you got to shotgun them. Blam! Straight away. I'll do for now. Lots of journalists being arrested. Probably bad. Cleaner intelligence something. I think the cleaners are like a rival human faction. They're trying to like cover up something. What's TU? Time units. Let's launch the squad. Um Did we equip everyone? Does it automatically do it when you tell them to? Yeah. Okay, so look, like, Dragonzord, you need, you got to be armoured up if you're going to be a shield guy. Um, I got assault there. You are overloaded, Ashapup, by six. I don't think we need so many demo charges. It feels a bit insane. Anyone else just like super low on carry? Gus. Can you afford an armored suit? You can! You're in armor, Gus. Congratulations. And the sniper. 
Ex Libris. You've actually got quite a lot. Do you want to see it? Nope. You can get rid of your damage charge. Alright. Although your accuracy is reduced by your armor. What about just an armor plate? That will do. C4 on the sniper? No. Alright. We're going in. Oh, who's that? Lamanji, thank you for donating. Say, Ben, please look at my toys and give feedback. I love all the VODs, since I'm in deep, deep in the pile. Oh, show me your toys. Let's have a look. Uh, how can I grab that? Go here. It's been a while since we've done this on my home stream, and I'm not very well set up for it. Ooh, it's a battle suit! Let's see if I can bring this up. Uh, window capture. Web. Uh, window. Sorry, guys. It's been a while since I've sorted this out. There we go. This is Lil Manji's Tau battle suit. Looking pretty cool. I like the colour scheme. Base is finished as well. Always important. And a little drone friend. Beep boop. Nice. God, that'd be really striking when you get the whole army done. Very cool, very neat, very clean. Thank you for sharing your tiny toys. Do like do like a bit of town. Very nice. Alright. Uh, okay, we're gonna go all the way over there. Where is that? Come on, Ben, find all bases finished if you make them transparent fly bases. I guess so, yeah. You don't have to do the transparent fly base. I usually do, but I'm not going to give anyone a hard time about it. They've got their own personal gun bot. What? Are we going to have to murder gun bots? I didn't sign up for this. We're going to have to have counselling after this mission. Oh my god. Don't look, guys. Uh, this office building is used to gather and process intelligence. Retrieving data will help us identify and expose the cleaner command and control network. Uh, this mission cannot be won by eliminating all enemies. The dropship will lift off automatically once your soldiers have returned to it with sufficient captured data. Capture at least 10 data items from desks and then return to base. Enemy reinforcements will spawn continuously from turn 6. Only items in the dropship will be recovered. Additional data will be sold for 250 grand, uh, 25 grand. Hmm. Okay. Uh, are the bases finished for a 25 to 32 millimeter model if they're transparent so they fit whatever terrain they're played on? Yeah. I personally don't love transparent bases because they reflect light a lot and they look like really shiny and I find it quite distracting. Um, but, you know, they're still done. I oh, do have side doors. That's true. Om nom 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 now. Thank you for using your prime. Uh, you want to know what that radio, laser or phone thing is in the inventory? Um, I think that's the thing, the accuracy enhancer. It's like a tactical kit. Improves their accuracy. Are we in a Chinook? Pretty much, yeah. Like a fancy Chinook. Right, what are we up against here? We've got just a couple of men in black. Okay, I don't know if they're going to be on Overwatch or not. Let's walk the shield up. Fipsy. Draw their fire. They don't seem to be on Overwatch. Uh, 
Um, double shield might not have been the right call for this mission. I think Mark Gus, you just got to um, you just got to start blasting, sir. Oh, <gasps> no! They are on Overwatch. Should have given some grenades to my shield guy. Shit. I can get him, Fipsy. Nice. Uh... Yeah, Overwatch at Fipsy. That's what they're there for. It's literally their job. Your purpose is to take bullets, Fipsy. Dragonzord, you also must absorb bullets. Uh, 12, 24, 36, ideally. That's the magic number we're looking for here. Bang. Bang. Can Lund finish the job, is the question. Try a long shot. I'll learn. Come on. Please. Uh, right, Mark Gus is actually real sad right now. They do have a med. Can you medicate themselves? They can. Okay, they're not bleeding anymore. Hooray for Mark! Where's our sniper at? Or the machine gun? Oh. Oh. Okay, everyone get out of the way of the machine gun. Uh. Epodax is wounded too. What the hell? Okay, get behind this bus. How much is it to use a med kit? 25. That's annoying. Five time units off. Okay, this is going to take some getting used to. Heal up next turn. Uh, this is not a good place to fire a big machine gun. Let's get Blue Cube Head in cover. We can let rip next turn. Exlibris. Now someone's got to burst open that door. Yeah, okay, Dethan, you've got to knock that door down. Oh, just straight through the window. <laughs> Good work, Dethan. I was just... Wow. I was just hoping to, like, open it up for the sniper, but... Fine. I'll take it. Uh... Okay, that guy just living a charmed life. What the hell? Uh, does that even leave? Okay, thanks, Libris. We've got to find a spot where you can see that guy. That's a pretty cool shot. Let's take that. It's a bit of a snapshot, but... <sighs> Crap. Um... I hope this guy just gets, like, scared or something, right? Oh, God. I've really put everyone... Okay, this is a disaster of a landing. Jeez. Yeah, Blue Cupid, you can fire your pistol, but I've stuck someone in the way, so I don't want to risk the friendly fire. Sorry about that. Bit of a fiasco. Oh, okay, we got lucky there. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh! Threading the needle there, Blue Head Cube. Jeez, who's that? Is that a civilian? They look like a soldier. Um. Alright, Epodax. You gotta heal. Um. Let's see who that guy was. Enemy spotted. Is that really a civilian? It looks like a fucking army man. 
from Desert Storm, yeah. Ooh. Right. Well, we've got to keep moving. Because um, enemies respawn on from turn six. So let's just go, 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 I think. Get in there. Dragonzord, charge! Just block up these doors with your big shield. Asher pup, get in there. I don't know if that's the kind of desk we need to be raiding. Stay here on Overwatch, Ethan. While Fipsy gets ready to breach that door next turn. Mm. A bit worried about Exlibris. I think I think we go like here for some sniping. Dax takes cover here. Uh, another shotgun, amazing. So we've got two shield and shotgun buddy squads. We'll go different directions, sweeping clear. Into that. Um, heavy machine gun. I wonder if this, this guy just hangs back and just fucking blasts anything he can get his eye onto. Yeah, I'm going to leave them on Overwatch. Oh, then we still got Mark Gus. Amazing. Get in there, Mark. Can I pick up the men in black guns? That's an amazing question. We'll find out next turn. I hadn't even thought about that. Yeah, I know Blue Cupid hasn't acted. That's fine. They're on Overwatch. This guy is just... Wow! Oh no! Just random civilian joining in. Whoa! Let's just let this guy win the day. <laughs> wow. Um, thank you, Nasdas, for saying I was going to ask about Xenoauts 2 a couple of weeks back. Guess I got my answer now. You have. Welcome back. Captain Kerno says transparent for non-flyers doesn't count. Heresy. Chump me up. Fair enough. Thank you. Warmaster, thank you. Right, let's get stuck in. I mean, this is America, right? He's being the old, the classic good guy with gun beats bad guy with gun, I guess. Bonk. Dragonzord, tank your bullets. He fears not your pitiful handguns. Right, then, Asherpup. I was hoping for some more close quarters combat. Um... This is a little bit more in the open than I was hoping for. Um, fine. I will still shotgun him in the back all day long. All right. You move up, Dragonzord. I should pop keep behind. Okay, Fipsy. Breach, breach, breach. We've got to back up army dude. He can't take them all on his own. Oh. Intel secured. Maybe. Maybe not. Ow! Oh my god. Is it Fipsy that's crap? Or is it Pistols are crap? You know? Which is it? I can't tell. Oh, Lund! My boy! Alright, we'll get that intel next turn. Uh... <laughs> Don't be mean. <laughs> they haven't landed a pistol hit yet. <laughs> um. God, these these men in black go drop real quick, don't they? Um. Is it like an infantry button? How do I? 
Look at what's on the floor. Is that not really a thing in this game? Backpack. Yeah, we can. Ballistic submachine gun. Looks like an MP5. Um, yeah, we can use it. It's probably worse than our gun. I think we cover this door. And we back up these guys here. Yeah, you can carry a dude. I've had to do that before on um in XCOM missions where you wanna you wanna rescue the um you wanna drag like a, a live alien out because you're evacuating but you need the research. That's pretty fun. Alright, uh, Ipodak's gotta get in there. Focus mind. Wow, you can gain morale by spending time units. Okay, cool. I think the heavy weapons have to stay out. They're going to be no good in point blank. At least having some guys ready to, like, stop our guys getting surrounded feels better. Oh! Oh my god! Did they just destroy the shield? Come on, hero dude. I'm pretty sure Fipsy just lost their shield. They did! I don't think they've got a med kit either. Fall back, Fipsy! Um, Ipodax. Med kit, Fipsy. Then, grab the intel. How do you grab the intel? It looks like it's in that desk. When I click on it, nothing happens. Oh, you right-click it. Okay, cool. Can I grab that too? Doesn't take time units to pick up either, actually. That's pretty good. Fibsy can pick up an MP5. Ooh, you're right. They can. Good shout. You have to be on the square. Probably not enough time units to do it right now. Yeah, do it next turn, though. Good shout. Uh, we've got Lund here as well. I think Lund is literally just going to stand next to that door and blast anyone who tries to come through it with the shotgun. While we hoover up all the alien hentai nudes from the cloud. Right, Dragonzord. I'm really worried about using Dragonzord now. Look, their shield's almost busted. They've only got 36 hit points out of 80. Hmm. Alright, Dethan. I need you to pick up some USBs. There was any... Oh, yeah, there he is. Can I get him from here? Mark Gus. Can you defeat this enemy? No. No, you cannot. Hey! The snapshot for the win! I would love to hire that army guy. He's doing better than half our dudes. He's amazing. Uh, okay. The lethality in this is pretty high. Like, our guys can die from one or two shots, but so can theirs. Do we really just go for it? No, we can't really. Try and take cover behind the fountain. Uh, let's peek in that room. What else is there? The sniper's just not in a good spot. Let's go back up Bluehead Cube. Make our own little specialist run. Um, actually, Dragonzord. I don't want two guys coming and shooting Dragonzord. That'd be really bad. 
I could like... Oh no. Enemy spooted. Do we hide in the corner? I think we do. We hide in the corner. Okay, good luck. Oh, there's another guy there. Shit. Hey, oh my god, Dragon Sword. You're a killer. Oh my god. Oh no. There's so many enemies. Jeez. God, who was that? It was the shot. Gonna guy. Ashapup. Rip. F in chat for Ashapup. Got just jumped. I think Dethan can avenge them. Hopefully. Um. First of all, Dragon Zord's gonna do. A shopping bag of doom. <laughs> okay, the demo charges are not not the one. Uh, okay, well, if they walk around the corner, Dragon Zord shoot. Right, demo charges are literally for destroying walls, not for destroying people. Today I learned. Um. Oh, military man. Rip. Okay, well, Epodax can grab more USB fun times. That's your job today, Epodax. I'll lund. Shoot that fucking guy in the back. Get fucked! Alright, this is a hit and run job. We aren't. We are just going to get what we need and get out. Uh, okay, yeah, this is definitely harder than I thought it was going to be. Dethan might need to back off here. Wait for backup. Come on then, Bluehead Cube. You're the backup. Nice. Uh, yeah. Man is scarier than Alien. Or at least the stupid sexy Alien. Hmm. Tactical retreat. Yeah. That is coming very soon. We just need two more USBs. Okay, Fipsy. You gotta get into this fight, my son. Uh, get back in there. Oh, jeez. Okay, well maybe, maybe not right now. Maybe in a minute. Um... Oh, wow, okay, there's, there's USBs here. I didn't realize. Okay, we can just get out. We can just grab that desk on the way out, and we're done. I think Dragon Zord still just, um, moves up to the cover, and ducks, and just pops anyone who tries to come around the corner. Uh... Shoot, Dragon Zord! Yeah! Ow. Reinforcements are on the way. Whew. Okay. Fuck you. Okay, retreat. Marines, we are leaving. Where's that last piece of hot alien action? We did it. The hentai is secured. Beginning evacuation. 
Go, go, go. We still want them on the reception desks. No, no, that's the reception desk. We went into their, like, you know, some of their offices. Go, 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 go. I think just full sprint. I don't even know where the enemies are going to come from. I think I can be too clever about this. Yeah, there are bonuses for extra loots. You are correct. But I don't think it's worth losing a soldier over. I can't see any um, immediately at hand. It's a shame we're going to have to leave our boy behind. But do you think I should try and pick him up? Nope, we're not staying to pick him up. Because he might not be dead. I guess there's a small chance he'll survive. Not sure. Did they have a data stick on them? Deethan wants to get him. I think... Deethan, you're all the way back here. That's like two turns sprinting to get back. No, fuck this. We are... we are oot. I should have thought about it earlier. If I'd picked him up on the way out, it would have been fine. But we're not going back now, it's too late. We'll try and remember that for next time. If anyone's going to go back, it's Dragonzord. Do you feel like a hero, Dragonzord? Or do you just want to get out? <laughs> nope! <laughs> You're not going to be a hero. Fair enough. <laughs> I can't argue with that. <laughs> I wasn't going to make you do that if you didn't want to. <laughs> Shit, fuck, Captain. <laughs> Tom and Ben Landspeeder meme is back on Grim Dank again. Oh, that's just going to keep rolling around every couple of years, isn't it? Right. Evacuate. I'm really worried now that they had one of the intel on them, and we're not going to complete mission. And then we'll have to go back in for more nudes. Mission complete! Oof! Oh, very good. How is Xenonauts 2? Well, we're only two missions in, so it's early days. But, um... I'm enjoying it so far. It's basically just classic XCOM, but looks a bit prettier. Thank you, NR7, for the resub. Rip Asher Pup. You're dead now. Oh, jeez, look at that. Fipsy's out for 31 days. Mark Gus is out for 23 days. Bit except for 16. Shit. But loads of stat upgrades. Look at that. Everyone got a ton. What is that medal? Crimson Heart. If you suffered more than 30 damage. Oh, wow, you get plus one to all your stats. That's pretty cool. Well, congrats, Mark Gus and Fipsy, on your medals. Uh, cleaner operations. We've got a good amount of data. Still sifting through it. Um, oh, they're worse than we expected. Government intelligence agencies are disguising their operations to hide their chain of command. They are under alien control. Uh, there's potentially thousands of cleaners. They work in small field teams. We need to knock out the command cells. Because their field teams would be left without orders. I'm going to work on finding out where they live. We're going to have to find their headquarters. It's the only way to knock them out. Uh, okay. 
Welp. Um, we're going to need a medical center. Insufficient power. Get some of that. Xenobiology. Uh, it's surprising the aliens are like humans. And they have the ability to breathe our atmosphere. They've probably been specially bred for it, right? So their DNA is strikingly like our own. 75% of their genome is shared with the average human. Either all life in our universe is vaguely terrestrial, because they've evolved on a planet that's like our own, or something more sinister is in play. Yeah, I think they've abducted humans and, like, made weird clone aliens. We need to interrogate them for further study. Better armor or better guns? I think better armor. Because our guns seem good enough at the moment. Uh, right. Where's engineering Chadman? We're going to need like four stun guns. Four stun batons. Said something about um, more information in the Xenopedia, right? No. We've seen all of this. Okay. Is that I done? can. Thank you for the resub. Mighty Apricot, thank you as well. You say I remember spamming the pink gas grenades in Xeno One. Cowardly, but it worked. I don't think we have those yet. Maybe they'll be just as good. Uh, Rufus Omega says, Been looking forward to Xenonauts 2. Just waiting for the full release to jump in. Looks like the first one with some improvements. Is it good? Uh, yeah, so far. So far I'm into it. We've only done two missions, so it's early days. It's hard to tell. It basically is the same game with a few little like UI and quality of life improvements. The main difference, which isn't much of a difference at all, is that um, the missions are in 3D now, instead of 2D isometric. But all that means is you can spin the camera around, which I never do. So I don't know if it's actually a useful update or not. Probably took them shit tons of development to do. Which brave soldier bought it? Um, I've already forgotten. Fuck. Can we have like a, a memorial wall? What's that name? Can we... Oh, there's no memorial. What the hell? Asher Pup. That was it. Thank you. Yes, it was Asher Pup. So we've got some new soldiers to name, right? Um, we need to buy in a whole bunch of new soldiers, actually. Uh, how can we recruit? Oh, wow. You get to look at their stats before you hire them. Oh, there's a casualty list. I didn't see that. Thank you. I'll go back and look. So we probably want some good... Oh, look at that. This guy's pretty good. I know they're not. What do we want? We want probably someone with good reflexes. Good accuracy, but then low strength. Ugh, awkward. Maybe this guy. He can be like a new assault. Um, he can just immediately filter out all the noodle brains. Which is pretty cool. We're going to need a big, strong boy to be a shieldman. I guess you're probably going to be a shieldman. Uh, you're going to be like a shotgun guy. Oh, you're good as well. You'll be like a shotgunner. Cool. How do I get out of that screen? Oh, casualist. There we go. Yep. Asher pup. Rip. They had two kills. Oh, they're MIA. Because we left their body behind. Let's hope they don't come back with a villain arc. You want Gary Mason? Is he good? 
Did I miss a good soldier? Or did I already get them? Oh, it's too late now. I've maxed out. I'll have to wait till the new living quarters is complete. Uh, living quarters is complete. Amazing. Speak of the devil. Uh, Stun gun complete. Brilliant. New people have arrived. Stun baton complete. I guess that's everything ready. got an actual UFO. Launch interceptors. Scramble the Mulanosevich and the extra Kenny. Dun 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 Oh god, two. Dun 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 Um Should we just auto resolve? It's only a wiener. UFO shot down over water will not... Oh, okay. Tail it until it's over land. I didn't realise that was... Oh, it's in the North Sea. Okay, let's shoot it down over the UK. Blammo! We used up our missiles and a little bit of autocannon. Oh, we took a fair bit of damage. Let's accept that result. Um, we'll launch a combat team. With four people down. Right, we're going to have to put some new guys on. I right, bought this launch. Let's sort our guys out properly. Um. All right. So you're going to be assault. You're going to be... What have you got? Accuracy, strength. You can probably be a heavy. You're going to be... A shield. You're going to be a robot. And then we need to name them all. Which screen do we do that on? This one? Okay, right. Commander Skate, thank you for donating. You say, uh, Bon, I was able to wriggle out of the pile yesterday after not catching you two live since May due to a new field job. Then you said you'd be live today too. Happy to be listening live. Kremlo Space and Krabnos for my crab catching job. Ooh. Well, thank you, Commander Skate. Congratulations with your crab job. Um, we can get you in. This can be you. Um, I'm not going to call you Commander, because that's kind of confusing. Just Skate. Corporal Skate. you got to work your way up to become Commander Skate. Uh, uh, right, the, the demo charges are not, not great, are they? Um, what's this? This is... Rage Fearless. Thank you for the sub. Welcome aboard. We've got... Artifel. Welcome. Thank you for the Prime. Um, we've got... I don't even can. Welcome aboard. you got a shield? Oh no, hold on. Lewis wanted the shield, didn't he? means Dunny, you're the Grenadier. Welcome aboard. And then, ooh. Carol Reed, you are not very strong. Um, no med kit for you, I'm afraid. 
Uh, who's this? Necrotech X. Thank you for the sub. And you say, really glad to see you playing this. Chump me up, please. You got it. Whammo. Is that everyone? Oh, the robot can be named. What is this? Oh, it's got a built-in rifle as well. Oh, I thought I had to pick between the rifle and the, and the rockets. Oh, but it can have a cannon. Rockets are good at large blast radius, remove terrain, and armor. Or is the cannon just kill? Let's go with the rockets. I like the idea of shooting down terrain. Um, birthday bot is here to kill. Heavy steel plating, obviously. That does slow it down, but clearly. Clearly, that's the one. Um, does anyone desperately want to be a birthday bot? Clearly, that is... Om yum 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 yum. Welcome board. Uh... We've got to put a shield in. Boom. We've got to put two shields up front. We're going to need more assaults. And then we're going to need more riflemen. Beep boop. Okay. Uh, right, now we scramble. Now it's... Oh, I've kind of tempted to shoot down that other UFO too, but... With the planes damaged. Let's try it out. Let's see if damaged planes with all of their missiles fired off can take down a small UFO. The answer is yes, they can, but they very nearly die. Okay. We'll leave that on the ice. I'll take it out in a minute. <sighs> One HP. How long is that going to take to fix? Bloody hell. You were very, very lucky, extra canny. Jeez. You can't just leave a UFO out there. You know? you got to bring them down. That's our job. It's what they pay us for. <laughs> We're getting paid? Well, hopefully. At the end of the month, I, I hope we do get paid. Uh, just, just kill them all. Classic. Sorry, I've got to reply to this text. There we go. Um... <laughs> Dragonzord says, oh, we've got to live a month. We're not getting paid. <laughs> Speaking of fight... Jets, would you be able to look at the DSC F15E? Tom can do the flying while you do the Ben work in the Wizzo seat. Is that a real life plane? Is it like a little two seater. Right. Um, oh, classic. Classic UFO farm. So, yeah, this is the big change from Xenonauts 1 and 2. It's all in 3D. I don't know how much it really adds, but it's kind of cool, isn't it? <gasps> it's a big alien! And a farmer! I 
Okay, we can't shoot the rocket at it. Oh god, there's one there too. <gasps> okay, we need 42 time units to fire the big machine gun. So sadly... Oh yeah, no, we can just get a big bit of suppressive fire from Bluehead Cube. Do it. Nice. Is that Yorkshire Farmer? <gasps> I hope so. Oh no, I don't hope so, because he's gonna, probably going to die. Um... Okay, Ex Libris, take the shot. Nice! Oh my god, 60 damage and it didn't even kill him. Um, god, we are in... we literally in Yorkshire. Do you remember on the map? It was like North England. This could... this is literally Yorkshire Farmer origin stories right now. We're living in an alternate timeline. And I'm here for it. Oh. Ow! Necrotech. I was hoping we'd finish him off after that sniper hit. How tough are these guys? We've got to save Yorkshire Farmer. Yeah! Yo, Lewis. First kill. Nicely done. Right then. Well, these are our two squads then. We'll have... Sniper, shotgun, shield, and I'll send a rifleman over there. Artifel. There we go. Right, that's squad one. Squad two. Bravo team. Deploy. More lizard boys. More li oh, that's like a little nerd lizard. Okay. Ow! Quit it. Hide behind the chicken coop. How much time have we got? I think we just stay on Overwatch. Uh, missile bot. What's the range like on this? Oh, well. Oh. Actually, can do a three, three missile salvo. Holy shit! It's only got six missiles in the thing. Missiles away! Okay, great. I mean, he didn't do a huge amount of damage, but hopefully stripping his armor down will make all the difference. This is a prequel. His experience on this day made him join XCOM. <gasps> Yorkshire Farmer origin stories. Oh god, it's like a little spider centaur. I hate it. <laughs> Birthday missiles! Happy birthday, lizard alien. Please enjoy your birthday missile. This missile has a birthday cake. Birthday cake. Oh, they can heal themselves. Jeez. Birthday cake tipped missile. Since when do we hate centaurs? We hate them for being too sexy. That's why. Where did Lizard Boy go? There he is. Alright, bring him down first of all. Before he regens too much. Get out of here. Uh. Deploying birthday missile. Oh my god, he just exploded. <laughs> I was hoping to wound him and knock the wall down, not literally evaporate him. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, I'll take it. Um. Right. 
Come on, Dragon Zord. Show us what a pistol can do. I see. That's what a pistol can do. Got it. Good start. Now hide behind the shield. Let's hope they don't have grenades. Oh, we should have brought the stun gear. I totally forgot we'd finished manufacturing the stun gear. Oh god! Artifel! Jeez! Oh no. to form up. Has anyone got a med kit out here? Okay, Artifel's got their own med kit. Thank God. Uh... Right. These guys don't mess around. That first mission was a bit of a go easy on them. Oh, yep, they're dead. Rip. Didn't know how much damage the bleeding did. Oh, wow, Dragon's Wars shield just got evaporated. Okay, UFO detected. Jeez. So I guess each bleed does five damage, because he took 20 damage just then, and I think he had four wounds. So that's good to know, you know? Oh, fuck! <gasps> Yorkshire Farmer! He'd retired! No. Oh, you bastards! Right. Shotgun and shield are gonna have to take down that little centaur boy. So the rifle can shoot long range at the blizzard. find that crate just. I guess it wasn't Yorkshire Farmer origin stories, it was more like Yorkshire Farmer retirement stories. Um. Should we deploy a birthday missile? I think we should. That guy looks real armoured. So let's get rid of that armor. Birthday missile deployed. We can walk up to this fence. Uh, and give him two medium shots. Finish him. Um, shit. Well, good luck, Dethan. Hopefully that wounded alien will miss all their shots. here for a sec. Um. And we lob. It's what Yorkshire Farmer would have wanted. To get high x into oblivion. Promise. You told me you wanted that. Hey, he's panicked. Coming in hot. Do we pick up the dead this time? We won't need to because we'll secure the field. Uh, we're not going to evac, so we'll automatically salvage the dead. So, there's a chance. 
There's a chance Artifel is not is not dead. Um, why do we keep demoing? To be honest, let's take no chances. I don't want to walk. Oh, fuck's sake! I'm just trying to blow a hedge up, guys. Could you, could you just could you just do that? Um. round burst this guy. Oh my god, they're so tough! Oh my god! <laughs> Why won't you die? Shotgun? Shotgun to the face? Is that lethal? Yeah. Good job. Well, Dragonzord's not going in with a pistol and no shield. I'll tell you that much right now. Get behind those boxes, Dragonzord. Okay, birthday bot, you can go find out what's going on. Oh, crap. What is the main cannon like? Not bad. Okay, birthday bot, use your cannon. Um. Alright, that'll do. No, I don't have containment at home. I don't know if you need containment in this. Oh, Dragonzord, no. Three fatal wounds. Jeez. They have no med kit. Get to Lund. Lund, I bleed. Help me, Lund. There we go. Hopefully there's no aliens in here. There isn't. Okay. Hide in the barn, Dragonzord. Um... Where's that bloody centaur gone? Use main cannons, birthday bot. Why doesn't it say its name? I did name it. Okay. They're not too tough. Why is that so low accuracy? Is it just the range? Oh, fuck it. Let's just fire anyway. We'll probably suppress it. <laughs> okay, wait. we suppressed something. We suppressed both of our boys. Perfect. Good fucking job. Um, well, sniping time. Yeah, don't fire heavy machine gun near your guys. They don't like it. Um, nice, Stephen with the back shot. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, right. We need we need to bring everyone together. This is going to be a big push on the UFO. I'm sending in a couple of guys. You did what you were told to do. It's true, Blue Headkeep. You, you did what I told you to do. The the warning didn't say you were going to spook all the boys. <sighs> right. Keep going, robot. Enemy spotted. Deploying birthday missile. Ooh, there's a Brainulon in there. Very good. Uh, really should have brought the stuns. Oh well, didn't. Let's go. Oh god, 
they're still suppressed. <laughs> I mean, they're lucky they didn't get riddled with bullets, I guess. Come on then, lads. Let's get to this UFO. Who died? Oh, Artifel. You died. Corporal Artifel. You missed your own death. Okay, I think it is just the guys left at the UFO. Take it alive. I can't. I didn't bring any of the stun gear. We only just finished manufacturing it. I just forgot to equip it. So we're going to have to kill that brain. We're going to have to make it afraid. Oh, no. That's a bot. Please, no. Don't kill my robot. Sad. Oh, crap. Uh. Alright. Birthday bot retreat. Retreat failed. Yeah, sorry guys. The buffering, I think, is my fault. Um, my internet is being real weird. I'm very sorry. I'm going to try and... Um, Try and do something about that for next time. I'm gonna ring up those those virgin those virgins at Virgin Media. Well, thank God it suppressed him because, oof. Um, were you a good soldier? I mean, this was your first mission. It's really hard to tell. You didn't run away, so. I'm going to say yes. You were great. Twitch is having regional issues, apparently, as well. Oh, not my fault. Some people are getting affected, some people aren't. Okay, well, I don't know about that. Betty Tear Prime, thank you for resubscribing. Unorthodox Soul, thank you as well. Free Amazon money for the Bempra. That's my favourite. Thank you so much. Oh, DMCK Rogers as well. Thank you. It's good to see you back on. Popped into Warhammer World today on my way back to Briz. Picked up a reprint of Rogue Trader. Good 80s vibes in there. Oh, nice. I wish I hadn't got rid of mine. I've got a PDF, but it's not the same. It would be nice to have the, uh, the OG. Boom. Suck it. Deathen strikes again. Teethan might have the, uh, the highest kill count of all time. He's doing great work. Uh, yeah, I do have flashbangs. Does that actually cause stun damage? I thought it just suppressed. <gasps> oh, my beautiful boy. He's too precious. Oh... Boo. Rip. Rip robot. Okay, people are getting here. Almost ready to, to charge. We just gotta set up the support weapons in a decent spot. go here. Yeah, I'm assuming it's going to do some mind control. Which is why I really want to send everyone in all at once and not risk getting tricked. Not a lot of other good cover positions that have kind of line of fire. Um, I guess we could hang right back and just hope range protects us. Hmm. 
Okay. Did one of them, like, bleed out? Man, I really wish we had a shield still. Lund, you are up as the most armoured guy in the squad. Good luck. Right. I think they're the last two enemies. Uh, flashbang? Would you like a flash and a bang? What about that? Boom! Get suppressed! Ow. Come on. Come on, I said. We do have a shield for you. Well, that's true. But that console is a pain, isn't it? Well, they're suppressed now, so they've got no time units now, and next turn they're going to have half time units. So I think we just use this as an opportunity to, like, get up there. Because they won't be able to do anything too fancy. crossed. Here we go. Uh, send up the shield first. Peek. Okay, they still look suppressed. Uh, do I, is the console valuable? Because I could just mega LMG right now. But it will probably destroy the console. I'm going in. Get shotgunned, you big dumb brain. What? Three damage? Oh my god, Lund. Oh my god. They weren't suppressed at all. Jesus. Oh my god. It's not working! It's not working one bit! Um. Why can't anyone hit? What is this? This is bullshit. Light them up. Destroy the console if you have to. Oh no. Did it again. Mom, it happened again. I accidentally suppressed the whole squad. I did want more difficult missions. And we're learning valuable lessons today. You know? Let's just hope this guy doesn't have any kind of AoE. crossed. But the whole squad ran in and barely killed one of them. Oof! Brain, please! Always use the LMG last. I did! I did use it last. Wow, 25 damage. That's like, that pistol shot's the most thing we've ever done. Oh, we got him. <sighs> got brained big time. I really thought six guys running in would just alpha strike them both. That brain was way tankier, and just so many of our shots missed. Well, rip a -roni. It's okay. 
And we can we can recover. Whew. Who do we even lose? I didn't see. We lost Lund. Killed in action. We lost Artifel. <gasps> Deetha, no! <gasps> oh, he was going to be the best guy. Jeez. So we lost three humans and a robot. Om nom 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 nom. Fucking rip. Dragonzord is out for a while. What's the green medal? Award for bravery. Oof. Oh man, Ethan was like the best guy. Shit. Oof. Oh, Dragonzord's a lieutenant now. They're like the highest ranked guy in the army. They're called Mantids. Those spider boys. And a Mentark must be the brain boy. Mm. Oh, we got some Elenium, which I guess is Illyrium. Hmm. No locals survived. God, there were only three of them to start with. Those locals were trigger happy, though. I feel like if they'd hung back a bit, they'd have been fine. Oh, you never did a triple salvo. You're right. We can build a new birthday bot. Can we build a new birthday bot? God, they're 250 grand. <whistles> That's a lot of money. God, remember to take stun batons. True, but also, do you know how many more guys would have died there if we were trying to stun that brain? I think, like, only one or two would have made it through that clusterfuck. Birthday bot is so expensive. We might have to see how much money we've got next month. Uh, That did have five kills. That's the one to beat. Chumps for the chump grinder. Elenium is a yellow crystal. It's a powerful fuel. Uh, we'll need a lot of it. Ooh, the mantids. They've only got 45 health. They can go down in one good hit. Do bite in melee. Can bite a hand off. We have a wide field of view. Okay, that's good to know. Well developed brains. Probably pilots. Okay, they're not very tough. Okay. Oh, here we go. The Mentark Brain Boy. They're mecha tentacles. Interesting. Uh, grotesque alien creatures that resemble an enormous fleshy brain with a single oversized eyeball. They're surprisingly resilient. Even a single shot from a modern rifle could catastrophically damage something so delicate. I can only assume they have some kind of energy shield for protection. 
That makes sense. First few shots I put into them did zero damage. Uh, got a plasma rifle. Can overcharge it. Yeah, that checks out. I'm going to kill Birthday Bot in two shots. Uses DNA from multiple creatures. She told me how strong the shield was. Oh, actually, it's a keyword. Ignores terrain. Organs. Sebillions. They regen 20 health per turn. And any bleeding wounds. Jeez. They've got bad eyesight. Uh, so they're bad at long range. 2% per long range tile. They have five scaly skin armor. And they check with claws in melee. They've got 85 health. Okay. These are probably like the, the mutons. They want to capture a live one to see how the regen works. Ooh, you don't want to be that guy, do you? The, the guinea pig for regen. Fuck, they're just going to like do all sorts of horrible injuries to him. Built-in nerd healing. You're not wrong. Best engaged at a distance, where they can't use their claws and their shoddy eyesight isn't good. Okay, we got a small UFO. Easy prey for the interceptors. Sure. They have a powerful EMP that disables regular human aircraft, but special Xenonauts craft are immune. Uh, wow, well, okay, now we can research laser weaponry. Illyrium, magnetic weapons, quantum teleportation. That's how the aliens visit our world. Okay, well, we'll finish doing the armor first. All right, how's the base get on? Uh... Training center and lab are finished. So we're just going to wait five days for the generator and then we can get the medical bay up and running. Uh, so I guess we need five more. We'll wait till the end of the month before we hire the um, scientists because I imagine they're expensive. Uh, at least they were an original UFO. Where's. Oh, they're not, no, not that bad, actually, are they? 25,000 each. Okay. Uh, let's get them. Higher scientists. Oop. Okay, three new soldiers have arrived. The Warden Combat Armor. 20 armor, minus three accuracy. Hardness five, whatever that means. Okay, so we put alien alloys into our standard body armor. Uh, okay, but it might be a because it's not that much of an improvement. It might be a waste of our, of our alloys. Lasers seem pretty cool. Who doesn't want a laser? Right, Warden Armor. Costs four alloys. Takes twice as long to build. Costs more than twice as much. What was it? 20 armor, five. Uh... 
Oh, the accuracy modifies less. So it's oh, it's, it goes from twelve to twenty. So it's plus eight armor. It's minus eight weight. I don't know what the hardness stat means. It's pretty good, actually. Better in every way. But when they die, they, we lose the armor. So it's going to be expensive. Maybe we only put, like, the cool guys in it. you got to earn your adamantium armor. We've got enough. We could make 20 suits, but it would be all of our, all of our materials. Let's make, like for now. Tooltip over hardness? It doesn't say. I did try to tooltip it. Um... Oh, I, I went over the number, not the word. Right, my bad. Uh, the amount of weapon armor protection that is ignored when the shot hits this armor. Oh. Interesting. Okay, um, so for example, well, our guns don't ignore any armor, but if you had something that ignored 10 armor, it'd actually only ignore 5 of it. Mm. Cool, okay, it's even better than I thought. Oh, the five scientists didn't act, only gave me another 25%. Oh, shit. Okay, so the chief scientist does 100% of the research. And each extra scientist only adds 5%. Holy shit. So I spent quite a lot of money to only get a 25% research buff. Uh, okay, that wasn't a great investment. Yeah, he's 20 brains in one, that man. Okay, well, we're learning. We're learning. He's a giga nerd. Yeah, he's a bit of a Daniel Jackson. I think he's more of a Gaius Baltar. Generator's ready. Brilliant. Because we really need that medical center that we cannot afford. Okay, next month we're getting the med bay. Let's put our boys into training. Do you have to tell them to train, or does it happen automatically? Um, looks like it happens automatically. Can we sell the corpses? Uh, we can sell... No, nothing's got any value for sale. Oh my god, we're filling up on storage as well, actually. How much is a new storage bay? Uh, 100k. Yeah, we should probably get one of those going. It really is just, yeah, it is literally exactly like XCOM. Alien ground forces are abducting civilians. Rescuing the civilians will improve relations. Uh, okay. Right, we're going to rename the new recruits, and then we're going to go on that mission. But before we do that, I'm going to take five. I'm going to grab a drink, and I'll be back in a couple of minutes. So, yeah, I did let that second UFO expire. I totally forgot it was there. That was my bad. I know, I could have claimed 100k bounty. It was an oopsie. Uh, did it say 10k for the... Oh, you're right, it did have the value. Right, I was looking at this column, the zero column, but actually you're right. There is value. I don't know what I want to sell yet. I might need this stuff. So I think we're not going to sell anything yet. Um... We'll see if we've even got enough healthy people to fill a helicopter. Right, okay, take five, grab a drink. I'll be right back. Bam, we're back. Welcome back, Commanders. Oh, right. We got some naming to do. A DM called Dethan. Thank you for donating again. He said, Even in death, I serve cupcakes at birthday parties. Entomb my body in the steel frame of an emotional support dreadnought at your earliest convenience, please. 
<laughs> Thank you, Deepin. We'll get you earmarked for the next the next birthday bot. Uh, Doka has resubbed and says, No problem, can't be solved with more bodies. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Dabadiz also resubs and says, More chumps for the chump grinder. Oof, we've got plenty more chumps for the chump grinder, haven't we? Uh, right, what about you? What are you going to be good at? Well, we'll sort out names first. Um, this is Doka. Welcome. This is uh, Dabadies. Welcome. What's it done again? Didn't we have another new guy? Oh, yeah, this guy. Okay. Um, DMC. Okay. Rogers. Right. Do mm, I think you're gonna have to sit this one out, my dude. I'm not taking someone on like 80, 80 something percent health on board. We'll bring Rogers instead. Right, we've got a healthy ship. Uh, is Xenonauts 2 already out? No, it's, it's out in like a week or two. They sent me an early key. So we're, uh, we're having a peek. Hello, Spaceman Smith. How you doing? Uh, God, I don't even know what this mission is. It's a new kind of mission we haven't tried yet. Um, I mean, not all these guys are... We've got to try out the Grenadier, though. This is... What kind of grenades are these? High X. Nice. What's the alternative? Heavy smoke. Okay. So we've still got... Sniper and heavy machine gun. We've got a couple of rifles. We don't have any shotguns. Feels weird. Stun sticks. We do need stun sticks. This is true. Um, and we need tasers as well. Let's look at it from this screen. Taser and armor. Oh, they're five over. We'll get rid of the demo charge. Okay, you're looking good. Yeah, Lewis. Um, I just kind of lost track of what's even a good stat for what now. We need... Reflexes and time units for shotguns. This guy's got great reflexes. You're an assault now. Welcome aboard. Oh god, you're not strong enough to be an assault. We could put you in the lighter armor. And take out the vest. Can you carry a stick as well? No, sticks are surprisingly heavy. Let's take out the... med pack, then we can probably fit the vest on, right? Yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, just gonna sort of liberally hand out all this gear. Okay, not strong enough for that one bit. Let's 
save that. And is it any chance that the taser's lighter than the? Yeah, it is. Okay, taser's lighter than the stick. It's kind of good to know. Okay, I guess we're good to go. Launch dropship. Med pack is a coward's option. As long as we've got like a few med packs. You don't need everyone with a med pack, you know? You need like three or four. I'm a bit spooked. I don't know what this is going to be. It's not a UFO. It could be bloody anything. Can you go on the roofs? I think so. I think so? I don't know. I guess if, if, as long as there's stairs or ladders, then you can. We've only done a couple of missions. Is it a bopping stick or a zapping stick? I think it's both. Rescue at least five civilians from the abduction tubes before the timer expires. Okay. Click on a tube. They're also with alloys. Great. Let's do it. Let's open all the tubes. Look at these nerds. More secty pods. God, I think I should put the um, heavy machine gun up front. Next time I load out. Bang. Oh! Crossfire. Shoot. Lewis in trouble. Okay. We'll worry about stunning later. Right now, we've got to kill the first few things we see. Did we... Did we not do any damage? Was that just me? Or did we not do any damage there? Oops, grenades! <laughs> wow. Okay, well that's a that's a start. Which is it to fire a taser? No, no, because that guy's got to be wounded, right? Should we tase him up? Get tased. Oh, shit. He's been mesmerized. What does that even mean? Is he, like, not going to do anything next turn? It does seem like they have chunky armor, doesn't it? I thought they were just wearing, like, shitty jumpsuits. I was, I was wrong about that. The first sector pods we met were absolute piece of piss to kill. Well, these jerks. Jeez. Oh, I've been mesmerized, not them. <gasps> Shit, that's worse. Okay. Um. Is that just because I'm so close? I don't know. Alright, let him have it. Blue cube head. Get him. Oh. Wouldn't, wouldn't be the machine gun if we weren't suppressing our own guys. Uh. My god. So tanky. Literally the tankiest guys in town. Please. I pray. Why? Why are they so tanky? What is this? They must have, like, shield generators or something. Oh my god, is this gonna... Oh no, Ex Libris! Ooh. 
weird being able to suppress your own guys. I don't think so. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think it makes sense, man. If someone was, like, firing a massive heavy machine gun right next to me, I'd be spooked. They have just sniped our two most veteran soldiers in one turn. Stunning work. Achievement get. That's it. Just grenade them from orbit. That's the only way. <laughs> what does mesmerized even mean? Do we just lose all of our time units? Grab and run. Should we just take the... What? What is happening? Skate is under alien control? What? He only had five health left. Are you kidding me? What even is it? Cylons. Right, they're not even... Um... God, look at that pretty serious rifle. God, if I wasn't playing Iron Man, I'd be real tempted to reload this mission right now. It has just gone so badly, so quickly. Um, fucking yikes. Okay, well, I want, I want their stuff. Oh, just moving it down like that takes time units. Jeez. Okay, well. What have we even got left at this point? That is not what I told him to do. I told him to kneel down. God, we need more intel on how these guys work and what they do. This is spooky. Grab the stunned one. Well, yeah, I will. Everyone's out of time units. I'll, I'll try and get one next turn. Jeez. No tubes for us today. We'll be lucky to get that stunned alien out of here. To be honest. Oh, they're all going berserk. Lewis has been mesmerized? Whatever that means. We might have to start again. We've made so many mistakes. What? Why? Take the gun. Get out of here. Um. Take the body. Get out of here. So we've just got grenade. And dabbadies. Right, let's grenade them first. Clear that cover out if we can. Oh, come on. Jeez. I don't understand why attacking them gives us more, more psychic. It feels weird. Oh, 
You just you shoot them and then you lose all your time units. <sighs> These guys are going to require a, a very different fighting style. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Whoa, there's so many of them! <laughs> oh my god! We are not getting that stunned guy. Not one bit. Um. We're not even getting the dead guy. Just fucking run. We've made a lot of mistakes, but that's how you learn. You know? Where's the abort button? Oof. How's it going? It's going real bad! Grenade launcher with smoke. Maybe. How do you... how do you abort? Oof. Oh my god. That was brutal. That was real brutal. Smoke gr I don't know how useful smoke grenade will be. Because they'll just walk out of it and shoot you, right? It's not like we're getting pounded by um, Overwatch. Smoke's really good to stop Overwatch. Or, like, snipers and stuff like that. The problem with these guys is you shoot them, you do very little damage, and then you lose all your time units. Um, happy with the difficulty, though. Yeah, I want it to be hard. I want to have to think about it. I really don't want to just walk forward, shoot, and win. Um, which is what happens in a lot of these kind of games. So it's a puzzle. We gotta puzzle it out. Rip all the boys. This might be a campaign restart. Like I feel like later on you can lose a squad, but right at the start. Especially when I've I've laid my base out really badly. I didn't realise you got adjacency bonuses. So some of my things are in the wrong places. I've invested heavily into research that didn't pay off at all. Spent a fortune getting a new lab and scientists when it's made virtually no difference. Um, we might do a restart with all the lessons that we've learned and have like a real smooth, smooth run. Why is that scientist a JPEG? Everyone's a JPEG. Just him. This guy's a JPEG too. Any plans to play with Lewis? Uh, well, Lewis is at TwitchCon. And then he's going on holiday the week after that. So, if I do play it with Lewis, it won't be for like three weeks. But yeah, same here, Malador. Almost every strategy game, I'll just play it for like a couple of hours. Expect to have to restart, because there's a lot of lessons you've got to learn the hard way. And you know, now we know about suppressing our own guys, and that, that that's a bad thing. Um, we're definitely going to do different equipment loadouts. What else have we got? Flashbangs feel really good. 
definitely use more of those. I wonder if we just go up and stab those fuckers. Oh, that'll work. 26 damage. It was like a rifle to me. 34 damage. We need to kill those things in basically one shot because we're going to lose all of our time units in the process. So maybe we just bring heavy weapons to fight those things. You know? Maybe we just fire a massive burst of machine gun bullets. And then even if we lose all of our time units, who cares? Because we basically use them all anyway. The grenade launchers were not good. They almost all missed. And even the ones that hit didn't kill anything. I think they can be good. They're good at destroying cover. Um... I don't think they were good against that particular alien. They could, I guess they have long range grenades. That was not a long range fight. I'm thinking like four, four machine guns. And probably shotguns. Because I can't, I can't trade shots at long range. I think you just have to equip the items. I don't think you can load equipment onto the plane and swap at the start of the mission. How much damage does it do? Just 28 times 3. Doesn't ignore armor. Hmm. You think the heavy machine guns look terrible every time I use them? I rarely had them in a good position. We killed, we killed a bunch of people. This is the memorial. Um, where's Blue Head Cube? Three kills on the machine gunner. You're the third most effective soldier we had. Oh, Malador, thank you for the donation. That's very kind. You say, thanks for keeping me company while doing some late night accounting. Just wondered who made your Be Right Back screen, as it is awesome. Anyway, good luck and chump me up. It was a very cool person whose name has evaded me. Let me have a look. Um, they sent me a bunch of stuff. They made some of my em emotes as well. Got it in here somewhere. Uh, I kept a note of it. I should have got them to sign it. Uh, it was uh, at EVN Illustrated on Twitter. They were very cool. Is the bot broken? Yeah, I guess the bot's turned itself off. Uh, let me see if I can turn it back on. Cloud bot. Activate. Why does it keep turning itself off? Yeah, it should be back on now. So, uh, 
What should we do? It's getting late. It's nearly 10 o'clock. I think I We could keep playing for a little bit just to see what happens and then restart next week. I don't want to restart now. Play for 20 minutes and then stop. That feels shit. Let's have a little peek into the future. See what other things kind of come up. See how much money we make at the end of the month. Ooh, laser weapons. No penetration. Good armor destruction. Good damage multiplier. What does easy aiming mean? Um, oh, they get a buff for having low accuracy. Okay, they're good for rookies, and that's pretty cool. They do thermal damage. Destroys terrain better. Oh. Cool. Study heavy lasers and oh wow. Okay. Uh, how much do they cost? Ah, oh, okay, they cost Illyrium and alloys. Three, five. Uh, okay, all the main weapons can be upgraded to alien versions. Seems pretty cool. Uh... Oh, thank you, Yarl Lewis, for the donation. A weary soldier arrives at the base. Broken shield dragged behind him. Those standing guard at the base doors would recognize this as one of the sergeant's mission in action from the alien abduction. I'm back. And ready to serve once more. Thank you very much, Yarl Lewis. Uh... God, they did two and a half days to make. Okay. Uh, right, so... Everyone increased funding. So generally our score was good. God, alien victory if two regions are lost. That's much harsher than original XCOM. Youch. Um, and then we spent a million, so we get 2.3 million. That's pretty good. Uh, cool. Okay, that's, that's one to watch out for. Is the rifle complete? Okay, let's have a look at that. to compare. Oh, fantastic. Look at that. So, six extra damage. Way more damage to armor. Taking off eight armor per hit instead of only two. And then the accuracy bonus as well. And I guess it does the same kind of burst fire, aim shot, all the rest of it. Okay, yeah. Great. Just flat upgrade. Pretty cool. Infinite ammo as well. Thank God. Only five shots instead of 20. Ooh, we've never had to reload yet. That's a problem. Five shots is not good. Well, that's cool. It's I'm glad it's not just a flat upgrade. There is like a downside. That is interesting. The alien weapons do more damage. They do more armor penetration. Um, wow, we can just build them straight away. They're like, oh right, they're not literally alien guns. They're like uh, like mini rail guns. They only cost alloys. Okay, let's see what that's like. Explore of the tech tree. Well, the plane's fixed up pretty quick. Uh, okay, they don't have much fuel. Fair enough. Uh, 
So donation has been carried over to next week. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Why not? Should we have a look at what the air combat's actually like? Because we ought to resolve it before. It's probably the same as the last game. The combat layer is fully playable, but is much less polished or balanced than the rest of the game. And we receive an overhaul during early access. Okay, hence why you got the auto. So the scout's got a wide arc of fire and longer range than both our jets. Okay, missiles. Very effective. Ow. Kenny getting pummeled. Hmm. Easy peasy. Right, let's look at that accelerated rifle. Uh, boop. Does 40 kinetic damage. Uh, just does armor. So it's basically just an armor penetration upgrade, by the looks of it. Other than that, it's identical. It was an auto resolve with graphics. I think when you're fighting, you've got more planes with different weapons, and you've got enemies with different fire arcs. Like, you could maneuver around and try and dodge fire arcs and stuff like that, but that was such a simple battle that there's no need to do anything. Um, slightly more damage? Oh, you're right, yeah, no, it's a damage upgrade and an armor penetration. So they'd be better against, like, the lizard guys. Oh, they are a bit heavier. Yeah, good shout. Hmm. It's hard to know what's best to invest the, um, the alloys into. Guns or armor. Yeah, the pistols might be better, right? Hmm. Where are we searching now? Power. Okay, we'll do the power and then we might shut down. Uh, what's the benefit of having high time units if all weapons are percentage based? Um, it's movement. Movement is not percentage based. So if you've got a lot of time units, you can run real fast. Um, ah, the cleaner missions. Ready to rock. And... Alenium. Ah, okay, so that leads to the plane upgrades. Ooh, additional soldiers. That's pretty cool. thing here? Uranium generators. Oh, you can rebuild. The rebuild costs half the the new build. Okay, I missed that last time. That's good to know. Um, oh, accelerated cannon for the planes. One of those. And I need 50 Elanium to upgrade a, uh, a generator. He does 30 extra power. It only seems worth it. Oh, but upgrade to all of them. Okay. How many have we got? I've got two. Alright, well that's probably mid-game. Imagine you want your Elanium for other things early on. Finish the cannon. Uh, oh, just auto-equips them. Nice. It's not even an option. I, it must be a flat upgrade then if there's no, no need to compare it. Cool. Okay, I think that's probably a good place to leave it. We've played like three hours. We've got our heads kicked in. But we've learned a lot. We're going to have to do some more, more strategies. We're going to have to... Um, yeah, I don't know how to deal with those Scions. I feel like everything else we had in hand. The Scion boys is, is tricky. I think heavy machine guns is the way to go. Or robots. Maybe robots can't be mesmerized. 
Yeah, Elanium does sound as placeholder as an Obtanium. You're not wrong about that. Cool. Well, this was a fun first peak. And I'm looking forward to starting again next week and then having a big, long, big, long run from there. See how far we can get. I like the weapons upgrades come in real early, which I appreciate. What does that even mean? What does what mean? What do you mean, what does that mean? The armor upgrades are... The armor upgrades are very good against the human forces. And, um... Not very useful against... The aliens. Like the alien rifle. Up two sh can two shot us, generally? The mesmerized thing. Yeah, I would like to know what the mesmerized thing means. I guess if we brought the autopsy back, we'd get more information on it. You're right, it is a cursed timeline. Yorkshire Farmer died. This cannot stand. We'll have to Doctor Strange it. Reset the timeline. Go again next week. Yeah. We'll get the we'll get the autopsy on them, and then we'll have a clearer idea of how it works. I bet that will give us some good info. Nice one. Cool. Well, thanks, guys. That was good. That was fun. Let's do a raid. Let's see who else is online. Um, hopefully you'll be back next week for a proper campaign. Uh, I think it's even still streaming right now. Oh, let's go see Simon. Simon and G are playing a wobbly life. Let's go say hi to Simon for me, and hopefully I will catch you next week. Thanks for coming, guys. It's been good fun. Boom. Right up. Oh! Mr. Calzone, I'm sorry, I missed your donation. That snuck in. Will we see the return of long, <laughs> long bomb boys and their Tesco bags of doom? Perhaps the old point blank injection method? We will see both of those return next week. They are my favourite strategies. I cannot wait. Thank you so much, Mr. Calzone. I'll see you next time.